Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Dr. V. Jayakumar. I make lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. Having studied about Grassoff's law and Grassoff's chains in the earlier video, we will be dealing numerical problems based on Grassoff's law in this lecture video. Before we proceed, if you are watching this channel for the first time or you have not yet subscribed the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that to get notified all my forthcoming videos. First, let us make a quick recap on Grassoff's law. This law can be applied for four bar chain. Let S be the length of the shortest link, L length of the longest link and P and Q are lengths of the other two links. According to Grassoff's law, one of the links will rotate continuously relative to other three links only when S plus L is less than or equal to P plus Q. This is the Grassoff law. If a four bar chain satisfies the Grassoff law, that chain is known as Grassoff chain. In case the four bar chain does not satisfy the Grassoff law, then we call it as a non Grassoff chain. In a Grassoff chain, based on the link which is fixed, we will have three inversions of Grassoff chains. The first inversion is crank rocker, also known as crank lever mechanism, in which the link adjacent to the shortest link is fixed. The second one is double crank, also known as drag link mechanism, in which the shortest link is fixed. Finally, we have double rocker, also known as double lever mechanism, in which the link opposite to the shortest link is fixed. For non grass of chain, we know that S plus L will be greater than P plus Q. So any one of the non grass of chain is fixed that will form only double rocker or double lever mechanism. Now we are all set to solve a new metal problem. In this problem, four four bar linkages mechanisms, namely M1, M2, M3, M4 are given. The numbers in the figures indicate the respective link lengths in centimeter. So we need to identify the nature of the given mechanisms, whether they are double crank, crank rocker or double rocker mechanism. Now let us move on to the solution section. First, let us consider mechanism M1. We are going to follow two steps. One is to check whether the given mechanism satisfies the first condition, namely S plus L is less than or equal to P plus Q. The second condition is which link is fixed in the given mechanism. Right. First, in mechanism M1, as you could see, this is the length of the shortest link. So 5 centimeter is the shortest link. So S is equal to 5 centimeter. L, length of the longest link, as you could see there in the mechanism, its length is 10 centimeter. P and Q are length of other two lengths. Hence, the remaining two lengths are 8 and 9 centimeter. So here, let us find S plus L separately, P plus Q separately. Here, S plus L, we get 5 plus 10, 15 centimeter. And P plus Q, we get 8 plus 9, 17 centimeter. So, let us apply condition number 1. In this case, obviously, S plus L is less than P plus Q. And hence, the mechanism M1 is a grass of chain. Now, we need to check for second condition. Just by observing the mechanism M1, we can understand that the shortest link is fixed. So when the shortest link is fixed, 
This grass of chain will form double crank, also known as drag link, also known as rotary rotary converter mechanism. Now let us solve three more cases in the same manner. Now let us consider mechanism M2. First, let us find the values of S, L, P, and Q. Just by observing the diagram given easily, we could write the length of the shortest link S equal to 6 cm, longest link length L equal to 11 cm, the two other remaining length links P 9 cm, Q 10 cm. So here S plus L equal to 6 plus 11 equal to 17 cm and P plus Q equal to 9 plus 10 19 centimeter. Therefore, condition number one, S plus L is less than P plus Q. Therefore, the mechanism M2 forms a Grassoff's chain. By going through the diagram, we can see that the link adjacent to the shortest link is fixed. Therefore, the given mechanism M2 forms a crank rocker mechanism, also known as crank lever mechanism, also known as rotary oscillating mechanism. Now, let us consider mechanism M3. Just by going through the various links of the given mechanism, we can easily write the values of S, L, P, and Q. Shortest link, 8 centimeter. Longest link, 15 centimeter. Other two links are 10 and 12. Here, S plus L equal to 8 plus 15. We get 23 centimeter. P plus Q, we get 10 plus 12, 22 centimeter. Very interestingly, in this case, S plus L is greater than P plus Q. Therefore, it is not a grass of chain. So, it is a non grass of chain. For any non grass of chain, we know that it can only form a double rocker mechanism. Therefore, the given mechanism M3 is a double rocker mechanism, also known as double lever mechanism. Finally, let us identify the nature of the mechanism M4. Just by going through the various dimensions of the mechanism M4, we can easily write the values of S, L, T, and Q. Now, let us find the values of S plus L and P plus Q separately. Here, S plus L is less than P plus Q. So, the mechanism M4 is a graph of chain. Just by going through the link, we can observe that the link opposite to the shortest link is fixed. Therefore, the graph of chain will form double rocker, also known as double lever mechanism. Here, a problem for practice is given for you to try at your own. Hope you like this video. If so, support the work by liking it, sharing it to your friends, subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell icon. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.